What's the biggest thing I should maybe be concerned about as an American citizen? Going back to Trump's Twitter. He tweeted on February 17th, the fake news media, failing New York Times, NBC News, ABC, CBS, CNN, is not my enemy, it is the enemy of the American people. Is he not an American person? I mean, this is concerning because it kind of seems like it's maybe contradicting the First Amendment of the Constitution. A oh, little damn. bit. That's the first one. It's the number one. It's the best amendment. <laughs> it's the number one top amendment. Right. So, but basically that one is protecting like freedom of speech, freedom of the press, you know, and he's not taking away any of their freedoms, but he's kind of like placing this distrust and like sort of discrediting them a little bit. Here's my biggest concern right now, and yeah. this might be selfish. I'm a media person, and he certainly didn't call out BuzzFeed in this instance, he, he no. has before, sure. but is Trump potentially telling the American people that I'm their enemy? Know. Because if be. I'm their enemy, I want more stuff. I want a lair, <laughs> I want a badass car, I want space weapons, I want expensive wine all the time that I could be like constantly doing this. I want better stuff right. if I'm gonna be an enemy. Enemies have cool stuff. It's true. Can we call Hayes? I think we should check back in with Hayes and see what he thinks. Hey guys! Hey. 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 Hayes. We're talking about uh, the tweet that Trump sent saying that all the news outlets were an enemy of the American people. I want to know, since I technically work for a media company that has a news mm -hmm. outlet, A, if I am then an enemy to the people, mm -hmm. and B, if you are an even bigger enemy to the people, and C, <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> No, I, well, first of all, as far as I can tell, being an enemy of the state is a transitive property, so it's like a six degree separation thing. If you know someone who's an enemy of the American people and are like relatively close ties with them, it passes on to you like a cold. Yeah. Um, uh, that's just my working theory. So you're a bigger enemy than me, but I am still an enemy. Yes, correct, because you work for this failing pile of garbage as well. Well, I aspire <laughs> to your position, sir. In all seriousness, it's really terrible and scary. Yeah. So today at CPAC, uh, Trump had a speech where he tried to say, no, 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 I was talking, just talking about fake news. And journalists who make up sources, which happens to be everyone in my mind, <laughs> The fact that he's trying to say that anyone who disagrees with him is automatically a liar and fake is a way to sort of burrow away at the idea of a free press in a way that you would expect to see in a less free country than the United States of America. Trump today, again at CPAC, said something along the lines of, I don't mind bad stories when I've earned them, except he seems to never believe that he's truly earned them. And goes back to our good friend Vladimir Putin in similarities when you see how the Russian state controls most of the media, you have very few independent outlets left. Who else in history, and you can name all of them, has mm. made an enemy of the press to the people they represent? Uh, oh, you know, some dudes named Benito, Adol, Uncle Joe, just some, some friendly characters. Bobby Mugabe down in Zimbabwe. As a person who technically, according to Trump, is an enemy, would you ever go on mm. record saying something like, Trump is kind of like Hitler. Mm. No, bit soon, bit soon for that. Yeah. Okay, mm. okay. No, I said kind of. I've been reading. This is so well, basically what you would say. Game. This is a potential first step in the wrong direction. Wrong direction. We'll agree with that. I've been le reading a lovely Hitler biography, and there are some things where I'm like, I see. I see. Yikes. But we're not quite there yet. Well, I appreciate your time, and uh, since I aspire to be a bigger villain, I'm not really a reporter, so I do think Trump is probably very Hitler-like, but you don't have to say that. And I'm not technically new, bye, so you don't bye, have to worry about signing me. Off, bye. Like, I don't know if Trump is actually Hitler. I don't know if Trump is actually Putin. You know, he's going to be his own kind of person, right? No yes. one can be Hitler. Hitler was Hitler. No one can be Keith Habersberger. I'm Keith Habersberger. That's just the facts, right? Those are both facts. You were not Hitler. Trump is not Hitler. Trump is not Keith. Trump is not Keith. You are not Trump. These are true things. I'm making everybody who's like an authority with facts <laughs> very worried right now. Those of us who like facts and truth, we're really concerned. We don't want to make too many crazy claims. We're really nervous right now. It's, it's scary to make crazy claims, but yeah. right now, Trump has made it scary to make factual claims. Or seems like he's trying to make people not believe, like, accurate reporting. He's turning us against ourselves. Kind of like, kind of like Hunger Games. Kind of like Hunger Games, yeah, kind of like Hunger Games. <laughs> I was gonna go for Hitler, but actually it's way more like Hunger no, Games. No, it's, it's pretty Hunger Gamesy. I'm safe with Hunger Games. Yeah, it's fiction. What 
can't I just say that he's Hitler? Why can't I just say it? Like, I just want to know why I can't much. just make crazy claims. It's too much. Well, it's, right I'm now. the enemy. No one's going to believe me anyway.